welcome back dear students so today's video class we are going to discuss about the <coughs> another very important chapter that's called as a biotechnology and in that biotechnology the principles and processes before this chapter we already discussed the human health and disease chapter completely i thought you are going to understand everything concept in the human health and disease chapter then come the today's class we know that what's behind this biotechnology concept in this biotechnology unit you are going to get the 11 marks in the examination corner and also the some questions ask in the cet level i told you what are those important questions and what are those important cet questions continue in the classes then come we are going to start with this chapter that's we know that biotechnology first basically we are going to discuss about the principles of biotechnology and what are those processes we are going to do in this technology field so this technology field is very very important concept in the obtaining a new product what is the meaning of that biotechnology see the word itself is having bio means living organism we are going to get the living organism through the technological way what are those technology how we are going to get the new organism we know that from human beings to human beings there is the formation natural process is going on but we are going to get the another product another product from another plants or animals used those in the laboratory conditions by laboratory conditions we are going to take a new organism that is called as a technological waste how it will be going to done so about about that concept we are discussed in today's class in today's class we are going to discuss about the some introduction concept come what is this the term biotechnology was coined by carl ereki see the scientist this scientist name will be asked you in the examination corner as a one mark questions or in the cet who is that carl ereki carl ereki he is a scientist to discover the term of biotechnology then come what is that biotechnology the technology in which see the word the technology in which microorganisms and isolated cells or tissues or organs of desired plants are employed to produce desired products for the welfare of mankind just think about what is this statement this statements reveals you about the what we are using here it's a technology yes it is a technology in which what you are going to use you are going to use as a microorganisms or isolated cells or tissues or organs which one you are required just think about here the word what is this microorganisms that is the smallest organisms using those smallest organisms are separated the cells which are required to produce the new organisms isolated cells or tissues we are going to take the part of the tissue in that we are going to extract the genes and produces the number of other products like that tissues and organs of desired plants see the word it is very important you must be remember desired means it will be required which one interested what we interested what we want to produce we want to produce the tablets we want to produce the syrups we want to produce the plants or we are going to produce the animals which type of the product you want to produce based on that you are going to take a one required source that required source only we are call it is a desired desired plants are employed employed means all, all are together to produce the desired products 
for the purpose of welfare of mankind welfare of mankind means we are going to using best example i am going to tell you that is nothing but a bt cotton or bt brinjal like this so many examples are there what is that bt bt is through the biotechnologically through the genetic engineering through that concept we are going to produce the different varieties those different varieties products only we call it is a hybrid products like this to produce the desired products for the welfare of mankind for the purpose of mankind we are not going to take a only one product if you going to cross the two products then you are going to get the new product that product is called as a hybrid products like that type of crossing will be done in this department that is in the lab so that's we throw the technology we are going to get the desired products by using the microorganisms by using the isolated cells isolated cells means separated cells which are ready to synthesizing and tissues if you want to take a tissues that's also or organs from the organs also we are going to get the desired products for the purpose of the human mankind welfare of human mankind so this is the definition of biotechnology what is that definition so the technology in which microorganisms isolated cells tissues or organs of desired plants for desired plants or if you going to think about the animals are employed to produce or to gather to produce the desired products for the purpose of welfare of human mankind so this is the ideal concept about the biotechnology then come next one in the biotechnology this field is also called as a another world that is called as a genetic engineering or nothing but a genetic surgery in that world only meaning is there what is that genetic engineering see the word genetic in that gene by using the genes we are making a surgery by using the genes take the genes cross the genes produces the new products so that's only we know that bio technology so that's here is there that is nothing but a genetic engineering come what is the statement they are given about the genetic engineering genetic engineering or bio technology come what is this the method of synthesizing the desired genes and its insertion in the genome of the other organism to produce hybrid dna or recombinant dna what it reveals it reveals that see the method of synthesizing the desired genes or its insertion in the genome of the other organism to produce hybrid dna or recombinant dna dear students must be remember here i already told you here synthesizing the desired gene desired gene nothing but a gene of interest which gene i want to produce the new product from that gene because like that only here only given and its insertion in the genome genome meaning is that group of genes there is a number of genes are there the number of genes nothing but that group of genes we call it is a genome of the other organism to produce hybrid dna just think about take the one gene from the one organism by using the some other tools are there introduce into the another organism to produce the the new product that new product is called as a i already told you hybrid dna it will be recombined by two genes that's why it is also called as a recombinant dna just think about here here a gene and it's also called as a b gene and by almost all together we are going to produce the another gene that gene is called as a c gene this c gene only is nothing but a hybrid dna or recombinant dna a plus b you must remember then you are going to get the new products so like this if they are called as a this is concept is called as a cross hybridization concept 
when you go in to do as a cross hybridization concept then you are going to get the another new product but this new product sharing the both the genes of a and b that's why it is called as a hybrid dna or recombinant dna to our parents we are the hybrid product why means we are getting the genes same equal number of genes and chromosomes from our parents then we are became a hybrid or recombinant concepts so that technology we call it is a genetic engineering in the genetic engineering we are going to use the genes isolated genes to cross and getting the new products and that new products is called hybrid dna or recombinant dna okay next one is that come by using this recombination concept recombination technology what are the tools we are going to using there are so many important tools are there those tools will be helps to us to produce us the new product like a bt cotton like a bt brinjal like a bt banana like that so many products will be going to formed in future also so in this way only because you dear students you must be remember in roses also we are having a some dominant colors but some other color like a pink color best example is the pink if you going to take means it is a recessive color why it is recessive color means we are going to obtain the pink color by crossing the red rose and white rose if you cross red rose and white rose then you are going to get the pink rose this is the different concept you are going to get and there is the production of the genes also become a different end. so like this type of the sharing concept is going to done through the this technology what is this technology bio technology that will be do in the nursery plantations concept okay then come next here what are those tools we are going to use come to the first tools that's nothing but a desired gene what is this desired gene desired gene is nothing but a the gene of our interest which one we want we want to produce in the plants we want to produce in the animals like that the gene of our interest which is also called as a foreign dna which is obtained from its sources or artificially in the lab there are two techniques if you going to produce that one in the lab or if you going to take from the naturally in the outside in the nursery plantations we are going to take the that desired gene i want to produce as a pink color rose i want to produce as a the another different type of the plants then we are going to get the gene of interest which gene that foreign gene or foreign dna that is called as a desired gene we want to produce as the hybrid dna or recombinant dna the first tool is that that is called as a desired gene desired gene nati but see another one the gene of our interest which one you want to produce that type of the gene if going to take so that's gene also called as a foreign dna this is the first tool of genetic engineering then come next one in this we are going to using the some vectors already i am going to told you in previous classes i used this word vectors what is the meaning the common meaning of vector vector nothing but uh, almost all transferring transferring the products from one place to the another place from one organism to the another organism that's we call it is a vectors same type of the vectors we are used in the diseases concept like that we know that for the malarial concept if we want to get the malaria there is the one vector that is called as a female anopheles mosquito okay na in the hiv aspects hiv is nothing but it is a group of virus in that which one is that retrovirus so these are the many vectors are there house fly house fly is also act, acts as a mechanical carrier that mechanical carriers are also nothing but a vectors same situation here also going on if we want to produce us the new products then we are going to use the 
some vectors in the genetically way in the genetically way nothing but in genetic engineering or genetic surgery then come what are those vectors those vectors are nothing but a. these are commonly called as a molecular vehicles dear students just remember this word molecular vehicles vehicle nothing but transferring okay na? molecular vehicles which carry desired gene from one organism to the another organism which carry what they carries they carries the desired gene that interested gene that interested genes carried by the some vectors those are also called as a molecular vehicles these are the second tools okay vectors vectors are nothing but these are the molecular vehicles what they carry they carry a gene of interest which one we want from one organism to the another organism to produce the new organisms like that here also okay then come what are those examples in the vectors in the examples in the vectors we nothing but those are called as a plasmids plasmids are there bacteriophages are there just think about bacteriophages you must almost all in the last year you are discussed about the bacteriophages that's we called as a t4 bacteriophages and tmv is also called as a tobacco mosaic virus in plants these are all called as a examples of the bacteriophages these bacteriophages are also act like as an molecular vehicles to carry the genes from one organism to the another organisms plasmids bacteriophages and come to another example is the cosmids the cosmids are nothing but a these are combination of the plasmids and cohesive ends of the phage bacteria that is the phage dna cohesive ends nothing but the long ends the long strands of bacteriophages are called as a cohesive ends to that long strand of bacteriophages these plasmids are going to attach like this attached and this complete vector is called as a cosmids cosmids are also helps to carry the genes from one organism to the another organism in the field of genetic engineering just remember what are cosmids cosmids are nothing but these are the combination of plasmids plus cohesive ends of the bacteriophage or phage dna next phasmids another one is that phasmids phasmids are nothing but these are the phage dna that is the bacteriophage dna and a small part of plasmid in the plasmid the small part to that part it will be attaches along with the bacteriophage dna the phage dna and small part of the plasmid is called as a phasmids dear students these two questions will be asked you in the ct line ct questions what are these cosmids and what are these phasmids like that phasmids are nothing but a, these are the dna which is present in the bacteriophage along with that they are combination of the the small part of the plasmids but cosmids how it is complete plasmids but the long strands of the phase dna to that combination is called cosmids and it is phasmids these are the examples which is takes place in the vectors vectors there are the examples are there plasmids bacteriophage cosmids and phasmids then come next concepts we are discussed about the the first one what is that plasmids what are these plasmids write a note on plasmids they are ask you for two marks question must be remember what is this plasmids okay dear students up to this extent what we discussed we discussed about the what is the meaning of biotechnology and who coined the word of biotechnology and we know that genetic engineering in that genetic engineering we are going to using the desired gene to produce as the hybrid dna or recombinant dna for that purposes we are having a some tools 
some materials raw materials in that the first tool is called as a desired gene that is gene of our interest that desired gene is also called as a foreign dna then after that we are know about the some molecular vehicles are also there those molecular vehicles are called as a vectors these are responsible for the transfer of one gene into the one organism into the another organism that they carry the desired gene from one organism to the another organisms we must require the vectors those vectors examples are nothing but a plasmids are there cosmids are there phase mids are there and bacterio phages are there by using these all vectors we are transfer our gene of interest into one organism into the another organism then come the the first concept what is that plasmid what is this plasmids okay see this plasmids are nothing but the small circular extra chromosomal double stranded dna molecules present in a cytoplasm of bacteria first of all where these are present the plasmids are present in the bacteria in the situation in the condition of cytoplasm how these are these are a small and completely small circular extra chromosomal double stranded like this double stranded they are saying circular okay a small circular extra double stranded extra chromosomal double stranded dna because there are two strands are there double stranded dna present in the cytoplasm of the bacteria just they are ask you definition and give an example of plasmids what they are asking here the what is plasmid plasmid nothing but these are small circular extra chromosomal double stranded dna molecules extra chromosomal double stranded dna molecule present in the what is that cytoplasm of bacteria already you know that these plasmids are commonly nothing but vectors then what is the function of plasmids to carry the genes from one organism to the another organism to that purpose we are using a one vehicle that vehicle is called as a plasmids then come what is the properties of the plasmids what are those properties the first one is that these shows self replication process self replication nothing but a, almost all they undergoes the replication and to produces the number of plasmids many number of daughter plasmids because one plasmid is undergoing to the self replication to produce the another two number of plasmids like this because of this reasons it will be helps to us to transfer the microorganisms or genes from one host to the another host so due to this process it's undergoes the self replication process and next these contain 2 to 8 thousands of nitrogen base pairs dear student this very important these contains what these contains this contains 2 to 8 thousands of nitrogen base pairs just think about what is here nitrogen base pairs the nitrogen base pairs are nothing but almost all these are present in the genetic materials in the genes in the genomes those genetic materials are nothing but dna and rna just i am going to give the some ideas about the nitrogen base pair in the dna there are almost all four nitrogen base bases are present those four nitrogen bases are called as a atgc in the dna atgc a nothing but adenine t thymine g guanine c cytosine like that in the rna also four nitrogen base pairs are there those bases are nothing but augc instead of thymine here the another nitrogen basis is coming that is called as a uracil so these are undergoes to the base pair complementary base pairs how these are going to do the complementary base pairs in the molecular concept the adenine is always combined with the thymine 
with the hydrogen bonds where these are also called as a phosphor diester bonds a linked with the t and g is linked with the c with three hydrogen bonds so this type of the concept is called as a complementary base pairs like this type of the base pairs how many base pairs are present in the plasmids near about 2 to 8 thousands like that along with these base pairs if it is undergoes to the atgc atgc because it is a double stranded molecules the a is always linked with t t is always linked with g g c c g like this because it's undergoes to the self replication process due to these complementary base pairs then this is undergoes to dividing the two or three or like that number of molecules of plasmids in the body that should be in the cytoplasm of the bacteria so this is the way we must remember how many base pairs are present in plasmid this question ask for you in the cet level that is 2 to 8000 base pairs like this this is the extra chromosomal small circular double stranded dna molecule that is called as a plasmid and this plasmid is also contains the nearly about this plasmids also contains the there is the two antibiotic resistance are there those two antibiotic resistance are called as a ampar and tetar these are antibiotic resistance because these are having a sites are there i am discussed of uh, the structure of plasmid in later so today i am going to give the some hints how it is because it is not undergoes only property of self replication not only having the nitrogen base pairs it also has the the two antibiotic resistance properties are there those are nothing but a mp cycline resistance and tetra cycline resistance along with the seven important sites are there those seven important sites are called as a recognition sites those recognition sites will be helps to us in the replication processes and in that one recognition site is called that is called as a ORI site where the insertion of gene of interest takes place which gene we want to introduce into this vector in this site you are going to introduce about that i am going to discuss you in the structure concept like that seven important sites are there two antibiotic resistance are there those antibiotic resistance are responsible for the selectable marker purposes for replication purposes for almost all receiving the gene of interest and replication concept like these are many pictures are there in the plasmids that's why why these are called molecular vehicles because of this reasons these are having a many important characters due to that reasons in the genetic engineering the plasmids are used as a molecular vehicles which is going to introduce the our interested gene and produces the number of copies those copies are called as a hybrid dna or recombinant dna molecules so this is the today's concept about the biotechnology in the next class we discuss the continue concept in the plasmids and structure of plasmids okay dear students i thought you are understanding the today's class today's class is very simple concept is there we are discuss about the biotechnology genetic engineering and tools of genetic engineering to produce the hybrid dna for that purposes we required desired gene we required vectors in the vectors there are the plasmids also is there one of the molecular vehicles and we discuss some other concept about the tools okay dear students thank you